hello guys welcome once again today I am going to show you how to use J file chooser so J file chooser you can find into your AWT components and here is your J file chooser so take it and drag it to your J frame and it looks like this so when you run the program you can see here you can choose any of your document from your computer or your file or disks you can copy all these or search for all these and when you click for example I'll click this document and open it's not doing anything but I will show you how to use this today so if you use this J file chooser the first thing comes into mind is it's taking too much of your place in the J frame so what if a button can do the same thing or open the same thing without using this big J component so I will delete this J component and I will take just a button to open the J file chooser and also I will take a text field to show the path of uh, the file you have chosen so this is I name it as Attach and I will make this text field empty. So right click your button, go to event action and action performed, and in your action performed, write J file chooser. give it any name as you wish is equal to new j file chooser and complete the bracket and complete it i think i did some spelling mistake somewhere yes here chooser so my spelling mistake is correct what I did what I have to do is right click and go to fix import this will fix all of your import files here above so we were missing this file import javax.swing.j file chooser that, that's why it was showing the error so now write this after this line you have to write chooser which is this variable name dot, dot show dialog and in this write null after that write 
file this is um, data type file is and give it any name I will name it as f is equal to choose dot get selected file and bracket close and this file is showing error once again so I will right click and click fix import so it will fix my import I have to import java.io.file so I press ok and it will go the error will go after that write string another variable name I will name it as file name it is equal to f which is this f dot get absolute path so write this after this just copy your text field name because we need it for showing our path of our file so just copy this dot set text and here it is file name this variable name paste it here and you are good to go now so now let's try to run our program we just need these four or five lines in order to open your J file chooser so let's run the program and less so I just rest attach it opens my file chooser so I will choose one file for example I want to choose any file this and you can see the absolute path of this table is printed into my text field so this is the tutorial how you can use the day file the j file chooser by using a button and how to copy and paste your absolute path into a text field you can use this for many applications I will continue this J file chooser tutorial and I will show you how to save and open document by this J file chooser in the coming videos so stay tuned and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now